Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my second Christmas look and for this look I already went ahead and did my base, so my foundation, concealer, powder, and I also went ahead and did my brows and I'm quickly going to be applying tape to the outer corners of the eyes. I feel like this really helps give the shadow shape and it helps you so you don't really mess up since the base is already done. I am going to be going in with a Morphe eyeshadow palette. This is the Morphe 35OM which is an all matte eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be going in with that first shade and that is going to be my transition transition color so the first transition color is of course my lightest shade and I'm just working that into the crease and then I'm going to be taking this kind of like yellowy orange shade and I'm going to apply that also into the crease kind of as another transition color the more colors you build into the crease it kind of helps everything blend together and since I was going to be going in with threads I really wanted to make sure that everything was blending nicely and now I'm going to be going in with kind of like more of a red orange and this shadow was so pigmented when applying it I did not expect it to be so intense but now we have kind of like that red base down and I applied it a little bit lower than I did with the transition colors but since it was so pigmented I did go back in with a clean brush and blend out the crease and then I did kind of have a little bit of trouble kind of making everything blend so I did go back in with two of my transition colors that I used and I made sure that everything was blended and seamless before moving on and now I'm going to be going in kind of with a different undertone of red they aren't like true reds they are very warm I want to say they're more orangey reds so I do apologize for that it isn't as like red and intense as I would have liked it to be but I don't really have a lot of like red shadows laying around so I did what I could with what I had so I'm just applying that shade a little bit lower than the first red that we used just to add a little bit more dimension and because it was a little bit too bright for me I did go in with kind of like these more neutral darker browns and I applied them to the outer corner I really wanted something to kind of like ground this look together and I wanted a bit more of like deepness in the outer corner since on the lids we will be using red shimmer so I didn't want it to be kind of like all lost in red I wanted some dimension and some darkness so I did go ahead and apply those darker colors in the outer corner and I made sure to blend them out with a different brush and then just reapply a color as I needed to intensify it and now I'm going to be going in with the shimmer and with this I'm going to be using a kind of like more coppery color on the outer corner and more of like a red on the inner corner so first I'm applying kind of like the coppery orangey color on the middle slash outer portion of the eye and then I'm going in with the lighter like more red shimmer and applying that into the inner corner and then going back in with the brush and further intensifying it. It does look kind of like red in the pan but once you apply it on the eye it is more of like an orangey red like I had mentioned and now I'm going in with this gold so now for the shimmers I am using the 35 O shimmer palette from Morphe I forgot to mention that but that's what I'm using for my shimmers which is pretty much the same thing as the matte palette just all the colors in shimmer form so I'm using that really pretty gold shade as my brow bone highlight and now I'm taking some of those warm tone shadows just mixing a ton up and applying that to my lower lash line I am using kind of like the transition colors that I used and then I'm going to be going in lightly with more of those kind of like orangey reddish colors I didn't want to use a lot of it because then I feel like it would have been too intense so I just lightly applied some to my lower lash line and then I went in with this kind of like yellowy gold inner corner highlight which I thought was so pretty so I quickly went ahead and applied that and that is still from the Morphe shimmer palette 
And now I'm applying this Urban Decay Heavy Metals Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm going in and applying it to the inner third of the eye because I wanted more dimension and I wanted more of a pop. This was a red slash gold eye look so I wanted more of that gold to stand out because the red was clearly there. The warm orangey red but the gold wasn't so that's why I went in with this for like the inner third of the eye and I feel like it really helped give this look that pop that it needed. And now for bronzer, I'm going to quickly apply some of my Hoola bronzer from Benefit. And now for blush, I will be using this Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit. And I will be going in with the shade Unstoppable. This is kind of like a neutral shade for the cheeks but it does have a little bit of shimmer and this formula is actually really nice. I have been using it these last couple of days and I really like this little blush trio. And next, I'm going to be going in with highlight. I'm using my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati. I really wanted the skin to be very glowy and I wanted it to be a gold-based highlighter and this is the perfect highlighter for it. And now for lips, I'm using this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Naughty. Finding a lip color to go with this look was very difficult for me. I did not want a red. I didn't want the red to be too overpowering, especially because this look kind of has more of like a warm orangey undertone like I have mentioned. So finding the right lip color was hard. So I went in with this and then I felt like this lip color was a little bit too cool toned, so that's when I went in with the Morphe Cream Lip Polish in the shade Individuality, and I just lightly kind of blotted it onto my lips. And this is the final look. It is very bold and glam, but I feel like it is perfect for Christmas time if you really want a statement look. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great Christmas with your family or whatever you guys end up doing. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.